Welcome back to Retrobytes. It's a sad day at the Retrobytes cave. Unbelievably, the motherboard that was in the compact from last week has died. Unbeknownst to me, it breathed its last breath in that video. It hasn't powered up again since being removed from the case. I can't fathom what's wrong with it. It acts as if the power switch isn't connected. Shorting the power pins does nothing. No fan spin, no keyboard lights, no beeps. Perhaps I was right in the last video when I said that I didn't trust the tiny power supply. Maybe it killed the system. I've tried resetting the CMOS, tried with a different power supply, tried changing the RAM, double checked jumpers and dip switches on the motherboards. Nothing is a mess. I even went so far as to hotwire the ATX power supply to force it to turn on but still no signs of life from the motherboard. I didn't have another K62 to swap in, so I ordered one from eBay. I figured that if the CPU is dead from ESD discharge or something, I can change the CPU and the system will fire right up. But I suspect that from the symptoms, the fault is with the motherboard. This is the K62 550 megahertz. This is the top of the line K62 and it only cost me $14 shipped. <sighs> no luck. Interestingly, even if I don't short the ATX power pin, the power supply still powers on. I think this motherboard is fragged. If you have any ideas for me to try, please let me know in the comments section. The plan was to use this motherboard and CPU combo in the new 98 PC I'm building, but it looks like that's no longer an option. It's a shame too because this compact motherboard was manufactured by Gigabyte and I really like it. So surely this is a bad omen, but the show must go on. Since I need to find another motherboard to use, we may as well vote on which platform to build on. I originally wanted to build on the SuperSocket 7 platform with the K62, but we can reevaluate that decision. Do you think I should order another SuperSocket 7 motherboard? Or should I switch to Team Blue and build on the Slot 1 platform? Below you'll find a comment from me for the SuperSocket 7 platform or the Slot 1 platform. Make your choice by giving that comment a thumbs up. While we're voting, let's talk about storage options. I can think of four. The original hard drive that came in the compact or we could switch to a modern SSD or hard drive with this parallel ATA to serial ATA adapter. Another solid state option is to use a compact flash to IDE adapter. Last option, SCSI, with this Adaptech PCI SCSI card. In the comment section, you'll find comments you can thumbs up for your favorite option. Voting will close Sunday, December 29th, so get your votes in. And thanks for watching Retrobytes.